welcome back to a new video how you're doing hope you're all well so if you watched yesterday's video we actually stayed in a lay-by next to a busy road it wasn't the most <laughs> perfect spot that no. we've found and been in but it did the job we yeah. had a good night's sleep nice and refreshed and this morning we woke up decided that we're not gonna have breakfast and we're gonna find somewhere else because usually we do some work in the morning edit a video upload yeah. instagram all that kind of stuff so the plan is this morning that we're gonna go and find somewhere that we can actually just sit and chill for a few hours and get caught up with a few jobs but while we're looking for a spot, we saw that on the M4, there's a free shower at yeah. one of the service stations. So we're gonna go check that out. Hopefully it's still running because yeah. we both need a shower. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first job. And then hopefully go and find somewhere to get some breakfast because I'm a bit hungry too. Yeah, um, there is literally like a breakfast van in front of us. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go and find like a little park up somewhere and have our own breakfast, save some money. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head in that direction. We're going over into Wales. Um, yeah <laughs> to be honest we can't wait to get back up into scotland because it's so much easier to find yeah. park ups and stuff up there but we'll uh we'll update you if we find these showers about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place so this is a much better start to the day um we found showers and they're free uh tabitha's going there now to use it the only thing is you have to give your van keys in as you see i'm still sitting inside the van um, so basically I'm just going to sit inside the van while Tabitha goes and then we'll swap over so then I can go. But, like, yeah, <laughs> we found free showers, um, don't have to pay for them or anything like that. All you had to do was just go to WH Smith to get the key um, and then you're good to go. But yeah, so, sweet. I mean, best take this off now as well because it's doing me But, um, yeah, at least it's a better start to the day than we had to the end of yesterday. But um, I'm just going to chill out now, I think. Upload to Instagram and stuff and kind of just relax until Tabitha gets back. So I'm back now from having my shower. Oh, it's been beaut. Although I do find now that I don't have hot showers every day, that my skin gets really dry now after having a shower. So that's one disadvantage, but it's so good to have a shower. This is like the second shower we've had since being on the road and that's been nearly like two months. So yeah, this one's nice. And the other one we had was time, so it wasn't that great, but so I was kind of milking it this time. <laughs> but yes, it was really nice. I feel really nice and refreshed. A great start to the day and a great start to hitting Wales. Eyes on the freeway. Right, so we're at our park up for the night now. We're actually at a nature reserve, which is really nice. It's always nice to have be so close to nature in park ups. But there's no sign saying we can't stop here overnight as well. So I think we're probably going to hunker down and stay here for tonight because there is a storm coming in at the minute and it's up to like 50 mile an hour winds uh, around this area. And we are a little bit secluded here. We are still getting a bit battered by the wind, so it is a bit annoying. But on these type of days, we're just gonna hunker down, stay in the van, and just do some bits in the van. We've got a bit of work to do, and I'm gonna do my cross stitch. Liv's just gone out for a walk. He took the binoculars out to see if he could see any birds and stuff, but it started raining, so I'm guessing he's probably gonna be back soon. I decided to stay in the van. I don't really fancy being out in the wet and rain, so I just stayed in and just gonna chill out really. Um, this is what it's like really when you're in the van and it's windy and rainy. You don't really wanna go outside because if you get yourself all wet and cold, then it's a nightmare to dry your clothes. So we just managed to keep stay in. Um, it's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow though. So I'm probably gonna wake up early in the morning and have a walk around here because it does look like a nice area and it looks like there's actually quite a lot of wildlife you can see around here too. So it'd be nice if we can actually capture some of that and see some of that. But yeah so i think it's just gonna be a nice chill day just in the van we'll see what happens but i will show you around the area once it stops raining um because i'm not taking the camera out right now because it will break so uh yeah i'll show you that in a little bit Right, so we did a little clip where we are, but we couldn't do any speaking because it's just too windy. It's like 50 mile an hour wind out there, and that's without the gust either. But we decided um, to go for a walk around the area mm -hmm. as um, it's not raining and it's quite windy. And our plans have changed again, and that's another reason why we decided to... Well, I wanted to go for a walk and see this area. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but yeah. as plans have changed... We're not. We're not. And uh, what, what's our plans, Liam? So we're driving <laughs> two, and a half mile, two and a half miles two and a half hours back up to Tabitha's mum's farm. Um, we're gonna stay there for tonight and then we're gonna drive another two hours tomorrow over to Norfolk. Um, basically, I'm going to pick up a new camera lens uh, and it's in like near Norwich. So yeah, we kind of thought we'll just go today, 
drive back to the his mum's, which is halfway, stay the night, and then do the rest of the journey tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to spend, maybe, <laughs> we're going to spend the rest of like the time before I've got to come back to shoot the wedding um, around week. Norfolk, yeah. Which is a week, yeah. But, but I, I definitely think we're going to stay around Norfolk this time. I don't I don't, yeah, I don't think we're going to change I, our mind. I'm not letting you, because he can't drive, so I'm the only one with the keys, so we're definitely staying around that area. Yeah. But, yeah, it's crazy. We, I think, I don't know, we're either crazy or I don't know what, but we always seem to yeah. kind of go to these places. We got all the way up to Scotland. Then we decided, no, nope, we don't like it, so come back to England. And then we're on the way down south. We were going to do the east coast, and then we got halfway down and thought, no, nope, we've had enough of the sea. Let's come back up. <laughs> then we made it kind of, we, we kind of stuck to the plan and ended up in Wales. Yeah. We get to Wales, and then we think, no, fuck it, let's go to the other side of the country. <laughs> this is the beauty of van life, though. This is honestly, and I'll keep saying it all the time because it really is, for me, this is the beauty of van life, is having the complete freedom to just change your mind like that and go wherever you want to go. Um, the idea we're doing this is, like I said, we're going to get a lens, but I've been wanting to get into like wildlife photography a bit more recently. Um, and when I did it last time, I really enjoyed it, but I did sell my equipment um, before we actually moved into the van. Um, and I kind of regret that a little bit. Um, so I'm going to buy a wildlife lens to get back into wildlife photography, basically. Um, and as we've got a week left over and the lens is over in Norwich, um, there's loads of like seal beaches and stuff around there where seals come out and rest around on the beach. So I thought we'll go pick it up and then go spend some time over there and hopefully get some photographs of uh, some seals because that'd be awesome. Yeah, and some other wildlife. There's loads of places up there, but yeah. yes. Should be quite interesting, but I still think we are crazy. Yeah, but we are treating ourselves to McDonald's on the way. So that's how I've managed to persuade Tabitha to drive back tonight. No, you didn't have to persuade me. We were, <laughs> we were going to probably go to McDonald's tonight anyway because there's this whole like 50% off. Yeah, uh, we're making the most of it. Yeah, we are making the most of it. Because we won't have it beast... like after this like offer ends we maybe yeah. won't do it again so yeah we're being so naughty especially like mcdonald's we don't go to mcdonald's or kfc kfc we think is overpriced yeah um so <laughs> your hand hurt in there yeah <laughs> i swapped hands I can't so we don't one. usually go to these places and to be fair for the first month we didn't even go really have takeaways mm -hmm. we had a couple but not like we are now so <laughs> you try and make this arm dead as well yeah he's got to strengthen his arms up so we're treating ourselves on the way home we are yeah but we'll update you when we get back to the farm <laughs> Wish I could say I was finally... Right, so we're down at the farm now. This is the morning after the actual day. Um, basically, we got here last night and it was dark, but we went inside and was obviously chatting with like Tabitha's mum and stuff like that, so we didn't really have any time to do any recording and finish the video. Um, but at least now we're halfway close to where we want to be. But yeah, we're definitely going to try and stay around Norfolk area for the next week until we have to come back here for the wedding. Um, but yeah, so we're going to end the video here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.